Before setting preferences for automated file saving, we need to have created our target folder where data files will be directed. Here's our sample client folder with training folder where we'll save our files. In the Bio Explorer menu, click Preferences. Get Timer Settings from Design sets the condition length according to the design we've loaded. To generate data, we have to record the session, so check it. Prompt for session info when recording opens a box where we'll enter identifying information every time we record a session. Auto generate session file name will automatically name each file that's generated. Save session files here when auto generating file name. Bio Explorer's sessions folder is the default, but we want to direct our data files to the individual trainee's target folder. So click browse. Bio Explorer automatically opens at the highest level, the desktop. So by putting our folder on the desktop, we avoid having to navigate through the C drive in the Bio Explorer program. Click on our target folder and OK. And we're ready to record. Now when we press play, the record button is also pressed. But first we're going to enter data in these fields. In the first field, we'll enter the name of the design. In the next one, we'll enter the sensor montage using Roman numerals if necessary because Arabic numerals won't be saved here. And this last field, we'll enter identifying initials. These fields will become part of the file's names. Now it's recording. And when the session is finished recording, when we look back at the target folder, we can see the new files that were generated. Here's the session recording and the epox text file named with the additional information we've entered. And here, the cumulative summary, which is named after the design.